For 75 years, Lee Sona has been serving the world textile industry. From the plant in Warwick, Rhode Island, USA, Lee Sona's technical innovators have developed that specialized technology which saves time and money and opens up new and ever-increasing markets throughout the world. And from Lee Sona come the machines for a momentous new industry, the polypropylene tape industry. Lee Sona's spheres of influence in the field of textile machinery span the world major plant in Warwick, Rhode Island, and in Lancashire, England, facilities in all of the world for demonstrating machines, testing yarns, and training personnel in the operation of all types of machinery. Machines emphasize Lee Sona's preeminent place, the Lee Sona Rotocona Winder, the Unifil Loom Winder, the Unicona Automatic Cone Winder, the Force Twist Texturizing Machine. These and other machines under the special development of specific skills. Now these skills are applied to the rapidly growing and increasingly more vital new industry, the polypropylene tape industry, textiles from film, using techniques derived from both textiles and the plastics industry to produce new products and open up new world markets. Let's look first at an animated sequence of this revolutionary approach to textile processing a smooth, efficient flow system from the raw plastic polymer to the finished tape product, a stretched plastic tape processed in normal textile operations. On this step-by-step -step flow chart, the raw are fed into the hopper of the extruder, figure one. The material is heated and mixed in the extruder and is forced out through a die as a sheet of film. This is cooled in a water tank, figure two. The cooled plastic sheet is then slit with high tensile steel blades into tapes of the required width, figure three. The slit tapes are then stretched in an oven, figure four. The strips are gripped by rollers and stretched in a radiant heat chamber. The speed and stretching are accurately controlled by a specially designed draw roller system, figure five. The individual tapes are then wound up on Lisona take-up machines, figure six, for subsequent textile processing. I leave temporarily the flow diagram to look at some of the great variety of tape packages produced by the system. And returning to the diagram, we follow the process as some of the packages from the winding machines are used to supply the creel, figure 7, which allows the preparation of a high quality warp beam for the weaving operation. This operation takes place on the Lisona polymer tape beamer, figure 8. Beam from this can be fed directly into a conventional loom, figure 9 while some packages from the winding operation are used as a direct weft supply for the loom by means of the Lisona Unifil Loom Winder. Let's look now at one of the major products of the polypropylene tape industry, the manufacture of sacks for a wide range of industries. Sacks which are now competing with the jute and other natural fibers and winning an ever-increasing share of world markets. Sacks which have strong water-resistant properties are easy to handle, economic in price, and not subject to the vagaries of weather or the economic climate. Here are two simple demonstrations showing just how strong is a polypropylene sack compared with a conventional sack. These sacks which are being hurled from a railway truck are made from jute, the traditional material. This particularly rough treatment may be all part of a sack's life, but the jute sacks can't stand up to it for long. Now let's look at some polypropylene sacks as they get the same rough and exacting treatment from the men in the railway van. These tough, resistant sacks prove they can take it. Further evidence of the durability of polypropylene tape. And if yet more evidence is needed, here's the second simple but convincing exercise which tells its own story. Two sacks are dragged behind vehicles. One is the jute sack, the other polypropylene. The jute sack begins to wear and spill quite soon. 
while its polypropylene counterpart remains intact. Even when eventually the polypropylene sac gives a little under the wear and tear of friction, its condition is infinitely superior to that of the jute sac. Power, durability and resilience are the hallmarks of a polypropylene tape product. Let's return now to look at the simplicity of the operation in more detail. The raw material is raw plastic polymer, a byproduct of the petrochemical refining industry. These pellets are fed into a typical extrusion line. The plastic goes through a die and comes out as film at any required thickness. The cooling bath at a controlled temperature enables crystallizing of the mixture to take place. The resultant film is gripped by nip rollers and fed into a heated oven. The stretch ratio is 7 to 1. The molecular orientation thus induced gives tremendous strength to the finished tape. The tape has a rectangular cross-section, making it ideal for application where a high cover factor is needed. At the same time, it possesses the necessary strength to withstand handling under testing industrial conditions. Once the extrusion line runs at the desired speed, a slitting unit is indexed into position and the tapes are slit to various required widths. To return briefly to the heating oven, which gives such great strength to the tape, the extrusion system is designed to run at speeds up to or over 600 feet a minute and is equipped with special vacuum devices to catch and deflect broken ends. The individual tapes are taken by operator and threaded up onto special Lisona precision winding heads, which create those high quality precision wound packages. These lead to highest possible processing efficiencies in later operations. Lisona take-up machines not only produce packages of ultimate precision, they can be serviced without interruption at high speeds. Machines can achieve package weights up to 60 pounds in single package applications. In this demonstration, you can see the versatility of the Lisona winder, which alternately allows two packages to 15 pounds each to be wound on the same spindle, thus halving capital investment and reducing floor space. An aspirator enables the operator to control the tapes which are continuously fed. The winder automatically reaches its required speed and an automatic yarn threading hook picks up the yarn and starts the winding operation. The tension control reference spring is coupled to a tension arm and there is also a compensator for tension adjustment and variation as the package size increases in diameter. The tension range of the winder varies between 5 and 1,000 grams with the incredibly fine tension tolerance of plus or minus half a gram. Lisona winders are capable of speeds well in excess of those currently used in industry, up to and beyond 1,000 yards a minute. As production technology advances, increased winding speeds are needed, and Lisona equipment provides them. For high quality packages from the Lisona take-up winder, that's figure six, can then be used as a direct supply for yet another specially designed The Lisona creel allows the unrolling of tape from a supply package and ensures that no twist is inserted into the warp yarn. The creel accommodates packages up to 13 inches in diameter and these are unrolled rather than taken over end on a specially braked spindle. 
Each yarn is separated from the creel through the individual guides and the reed into the draw roller system. Four rubber covered draw rolls of the Lisona polymer tape beamer. The creel is placed slightly off centre of the beamer to ensure that the yarn lies accurately on the reed. The Lisona polymer tape beamer creates constant tension on the weaver's beam through its draw roller system. It eliminates any variable tension resulting from the supply creel. On the control panel, speeds are infinitely variable, up to and over 150 yards a minute. And to allow re-threading, there is a creep speed arrangement so that broken ends can be retied or replaced while the machine is in motion. The beam tension control is fully automatic through a load cell system and can be preset to individual requirements. Provision is made for a graded reduction in tension relative to beam diameter to prevent crimping of tape. Here in this equipment is demonstrated the great advance on conventional machinery, where tapes have run together in bunches rather than under individual tension. A red light on a predetermined length meter indicates a stop point at the desired length of beam, and static eliminators are fitted between the draw rollers and the beam. In addition, a pantograph ensures that tapes are laid accurately on the beam, leading to a perfect weaver's beam every time. From the beaming operation, the warp beam is fed directly into the loom and the system can be converted to more profitable use and a producer can enter this new industry with minimum investment in capital equipment. Polypropylene fabric with its high strength and good cover provides the ideal back for these carpets and possesses the important technical advantage that it allows very accurate tufting, minimizing needle deflection and breakage. We've Shopping bag. A variety of ropes and twine. For in addition to woven applications, tape can be taken from the wind-up stage and transformed into rope and twine products. These ropes can be of immense thickness and strength, equal in toughness and durability to ropes of natural fibers and possessing much greater capacities for resisting rot and wear. Ropes of such power and reliability that they can be used in the manufacture of nets for the worldwide fishing industry. These whose lightness and adaptability have already been proved under these most testing of conditions. The 
beneath the oceans of the world in the vast fishing grounds. Beneath the oceans of the world in the vast fishing grounds, demonstrating the ease by which they can be handled, their enormous staying power. For centuries, fishermen have been satisfied or have had to be satisfied with conventional fibre ropes. Now, polypropylene tape presents them with something which is at once economical, efficient and hardy. These and so many other everyday products come from this simple yet highly versatile process. The extrusion of a raw plastic polymer in machines like this. Machines made sonar, worldwide pioneers in advanced textile machinery. Lisona, a name that is synonymous with new thinking and the manufacture of sophisticated machinery that rapidly growing industries and rapidly growing markets